The reason this is can potentially be such a great deal is if this works out, there actually is another piece of land that I might also be able to do that on. Um, the one difference with that one is it's more money and I won't be able to recoup all the cost of buying it, but still. Welcome back. Just grabbing some lunch before we uh, continue on our day here. So a couple of items that we want to try and focus on uh, during this episode is one, the main one is uh, the wheat field needs to be harvested. Um, and that may take up pretty much the entire episode, but we'll see how far we get with that. So I'm just going to head over here. Uh, we're trying to remember where I parked the harvester. <laughs> uh, so there it is over here. <laughs> so we're just going to hop in the harvester real quick and then uh, we'll... Um, it started on the crop. Actually, I am going to open up auto drive uh, for the Mahindra and let's send this over to where we're going. Just so it's there and ready for us in case we need it. Hit the brakes. Ah, not much room there. <laughs> that reminds me, I do need to do another run into town um, soon. So we still have tons of produce to sell. And why is only one of those full? Oh well. Um, but yeah, so we do need, I need to do that as well. That will probably be the next episode though. Okay, and there we go. Wanna make sure I turn on So I'll leave the straw swapped off for the headland um, just because it'll make it easier <laughs> uh, in the long run. A few less bells, but that's fine. But on both the ends, I'll leave it off there. That way I have room to turn around without having to uh, get around bells. <laughs> All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is time lapse uh, this. Uh, so we'll speed through that and see how far we get before we run out of daylight. Or until I uh, do something like that and press the wrong button. Whoops. 
try this again. <laughs> Alright, so I did not plan that through. I actually should have put the manager like right here. Um, that would have made sense. But you know what? Lessons learned. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Lessons were learned. Now I get now I get to go for a very long run. Uh, while we're running and um, burn into all the energy and everything like that, uh, what I did want to mention is I'm going to change the speed a little bit as far as what we're, how we're playing through. Um, I'm going to try like do running at 30x for a little bit. I just make time fly by faster. And probably still stay at three day months. I may do like more days a month. Just, just we'll kind of see how it goes. If I need to do more days per month, I will. Um, but I just wanted to try that out. You know, shorten the, shorten the amount of time we have per day. Um, let's see how it works. But yeah. So. Get this unloaded and then back to the harvest. Don't look at the forecast. <laughs> how much? How long is it going to rain for? Um, okay, just for sure. That kind of works out because I, as I was heading over here, I kind of realized I was repeating the lesson that I should have learned, and that is of leaving the truck on the opposite side of the field. Go ahead and move that while it's raining. Uh, 
And while we're waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and load up the flatbed again with honey, this, just to kind of see if how much honey was actually stockpiling. Because my fear is I have a whole bunch. That's why. That's right. Leave the trailer on and just let it keep filling up. Oh, filling. And let's get back over to the harvesting because we're almost out of daylight. And what I'll probably do is once we do run out of daylight, I'll turn this over to a worker. so we can keep it going and then I'll pick it back up in the morning. And that suddenly <laughs> went down fast. <laughs> uh. So I will head down to the end of this row here, turn around, and then, um, well, it depends on when you download. I'm hoping that will be the unload point and not on this row, but I may not make it to the end of the row, looks like. I did not. I mean, we're definitely having a fantastic yield on this crop, which is great. Um, just making me think I need to uh, increase the capacity of my harvester, or upgrade it at some point. Because ideally, You would want to be able to do at least one complete roll before one complete uh, row um, without having to be unloaded. At least one. And with my capacity, that means my header is too, either too wide for that or my capacity is too low. 
Oh, whoops. There we go. All right, so I uh, will. I'm going to return this over to a worker, and then what I'll do is um, come back in the morning and take over for the worker. And then we can finish up the uh, harvest in the morning when it's daylight. So I will be your see you in the morning. All right, good morning and we're back. Uh, let's head over and see how it's going with the harvester. I suspect it's almost full. <laughs> Ooh, a little power slide. <laughs> it's better than a cup of coffee. Speaking of which, oh, yep, that trailer's full. <laughs> full of honey. So I'm going to use a worker to keep this going while I take this over to our silo and dump it. Uh, get over the little mound of straw. <laughs> there we go. And let's I think our silos are actually empty because yeah, this would be our first harvest this year. So there should be nothing in there. And that's a lot of honey. Oh boy. <laughs> I think I've made a mistake. I, I may need to sell one of the bee I've sore. Actually, what I may do is put it on to auto sell. That's probably even better. That way, if I do my, my, well, not if I do, but when I get a production that uses honey, I can just set it to distribute as well. Yeah. Now, why didn't I think about this a long time ago? Huh. So I think I have this mod enabled. I'm pretty sure I do. It's the same one I 
a desert for sheep as well as chickens and I think there's also they have one for bees too they do uh oh I think I have a problem because there's so many pallets it's okay hey I think we're good. Go down and oh, we're, we're out of something. Oh, room. That's not good. So we'll put that to selling. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and park this right here for now. We'll come back. I need to go on the harvester. I think this only picks up about once an hour, so we'll see. It should tell me. Well, let's buy the month. So it's 24 cycles per month. Normally there's 24 hours in a month, but I have three day months. So once every three hours is when it runs, but that's fine. We'll know when it runs because there'll probably be a bump of money in the bank. <laughs> major thing is I don't have to worry about it anymore. All right, well, that's going, I got the harvester is running. Um, Actually, I'll just run over here. I'm going to hop in our new or new to us, newish, but used tractor here. And I haven't really got to use it. And I love New Holland's. We're going to dump the spreader for right over here for now. And then just don't block in the Macy. Macy. Okay, there we go. And going to run over here and grab our forage wagon so we can start getting the straw off the field. That reminds me, I <laughs> go back to the store to pick up my mowers. Oh, they're probably annoyed. <laughs> oh. All right, we will, uh, we will make a point of to do that before the end of this day, um, to do a run in the town to get the mowers and also sell the trailer full of honey I have there. All right, let me see here. So 
Turn it on. Lower it down. We're good to go. Crank the wheel. And yep. All right, so I'll just run down here uh, and grab the truck. Oh, big hill. Slow down for that. We'll grab the truck and go unload the harvester again. <laughs> So I think what I'm gonna do here is just top it off all the way down to the end and then uh, take another load over to the silo. We have almost two full trailers so far. That's pretty awesome.
just curious if I can you do this considering the harvester is not on course play I think the answer is no but you don't really know till you try you're on beat Just gonna t test it, see what happens, because I honestly don't know. I also don't know which it's taking. Oh, trial and error, or trial, probably error. But hopefully not. <laughs>
So, because we're going to the grocery store, uh, I'm going to do is swing over here real quick. Breaks. And... Send this over to the store so it can pick up the mowers, which I kind of, yeah, kind of forgot, um, and bring those back here to the farm. And while it's doing that, we're going to do a delivery to the store, sell some of the honey. <laughs> Because <laughs> we got a lot of money. Another reason I wanted to head into town today um, is because uh, it was uh, talking with the mayor a little bit. Actually, you know what? I'm going to cut across the store parking lot here to save some time. I was talking with the mayor and some other locals and then also with the contractor that built my shed. And I think I might have stumbled upon a really good um, business opportunity here for us that if all goes according to plan, we will make some, well, we won't make any money, but we won't spend any money, but the end result is we will have another piece of land uh, for little to nothing which that's pretty awesome it the downside is I will have to spend some money now and then wait a little bit for my contractor to get out there and do some work. Um, well, to all of us head over there and I'll kind of show you what I mean. Um, you'll, it'll make more sense once I get over there. We'll just park right here. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> oh boy, I have the weight attached. <laughs> so we're going to um, pretend the store has a forklift and that they're very kindly um, loading this onto the flatbed for me. I can strap it down. Yeah, that's 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 how we're justifying that. <laughs> I just now have to figure out how to get it off the trailer when I get back to the farm. Because I don't have... Oh, I know. I have pellet forks. Oh, uh, yes, I do. Okay. So, let's pull this over here. And send this back to the farm.
That's the wrong way. Oh well. You know what? It, it will eventually eventually make it back to the farm. I hope. <laughs> um, but we're actually, so yeah. Back to the uh, property thing I was talking about. Um, the reason this is can potentially be such a great deal is if this works out. There actually is another piece of land that I might also be able to do that on. Um, the one difference with that one is it's more money and I won't be able to recoup all the cost of buying it. But still. Um, we don't have much space there. So I'm going to do here is. Oops. Without going into the ditch. Okay, I'm just kind of backing into another ditch now. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so let's walk across here real quick. So yeah, so this land here, it's abandoned, it's an eyesore, and it's drastically marked down. There's a lot of debris and junk here. It's, yeah. Um, but it turns out a lot of this debris and junk can be sold. Um, beans could be dismantled. And so if it's all hauled out of here and sold, um, I guess is it will pretty much cover the cost of the land or it'll be awfully close to it. Um, and the land goes all the way back there to the trees. It's like a really big, you know, field. And these band, these buildings are all condemned. So they're, they're completely useless. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the thought there is I'm going to try and work on that is getting this land. I may or may not break even on it, but it'll be awfully close. And I think totally worth it. Um, so the land goes all the way up to somewhere around here. So basically all of this area here, which is a pretty large area. So, I'm, yeah, I'm going to try and get that deal done. Uh, probably will be in the next episode, hopefully. Fingers crossed. If not, it'll, it'll probably won't happen until August. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of the plan is get that done. And then I just have to make sure I have enough funds, which I think I do. Um, but we will see. So yeah, so let's head back to the farm and then see uh, where we're at on the harvesting, which I'm sure this is just sitting there because I haven't came out and emptied it in a while. So yeah. Alright, so I think what we're going to do here is I'm going to unload this and then we will go ahead and wrap up the episode here and start the next one on the last day of July. And yeah, so 
Yeah, thank you for uh, joining us on this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really looking forward to some of the uh, expansions that we're going to be doing here in the very near future uh, this year. Um, as we also at the same time are trying to pay down the loan. But I think we're going to be really good once we uh, sell all the silage and everything and all the crops. So I'm not too worried about the loan. Um, I mean, I, that's kind of the plan is to use the, the harvesting crops to you know, from the harvest and the silage to basically pay down or hopefully maybe even pay off the loan and use the money we make between now and then from produce to expand the business and the farm. But yeah. So yeah, we'll go ahead and leave it here. Um, glad you were able to join us. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and also leave a comment. Let me know if any thoughts or ideas you have or feedback. Always appreciate it and it helps out the channel a lot. And also be sure to subscribe. And if you want to get notified of future episodes, go ahead and hit that bell. Um, but yeah, so thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.